There's so much to love about this Lower Howard's Creek area. <clears throat> it's just a, an amazing gem. <laughs> uh, not very far from civilization. Anyway, um, <clears throat> just outside of Lexington, this, this, this creek runs right into the uh, Kentucky River. And you can see it's just a small creek, but then these big palisades, these large palisades that uh, it's like you would find something along the Kentucky River. Um, but it's just beautiful. They've really done a really good job of, of marking the trails out here. Last time I came out here, uh, I kind of went off trail, off the official trail because there's a lot of unofficial trails and they've uh, redone things out here and they've uh, put together a map. Uh, that's pretty good because they've got uh, uh, parts marked out on it, um, uh, numbered areas that are marked out uh, to kind of follow. And so uh, if you're not seeing those numbers, you've, you've gone off trail. Um, <laughs> I found myself in way in the backwoods there, an area where uh, they're doing some development. Uh, it looks more residential. Anyway, me and Sapphire are out here in April, checking out the wildflowers, which are in full abundance. Lots of purples out here. And uh, I wish I would have gotten a full video of it, but Sapphire crossed the creek down, down there and you can see yeah, the rocks that she crossed. <laughs> At first she uh, backtracked and did not want to do it, but then uh, I coaxed her to, to make it happen, and she did. Out here at Lower Howard's Creek, it's a beautiful spring day. So I'm up above Lower Howard's Creek on what they call the John Holder Trail. <laughs> You can probably see some of the trail back there. Anyway, they've uh, done a good job of maintaining this place and um, or um, getting, getting it into shape. Because last time I was out here, I, I didn't go this far, but some of the trails have been uh, fixed up pretty good, marked. Anyway, the creek is way down there. It's just amazing that there's something like this just outside of Lexington. Uh, you could see the ridge back there uh, that I guess was formed. There's this uh, creek cut through here. However, God made that if he <laughs> made the creek to, to cut the channel or if he just used his finger to, to run through there. Anyway, me and Sapphire are out here at Lower Howard's Creek just enjoying a beautiful spring day. the Benjamin Hieronymus house. I guess the remains, only a chimney remains, early 19th century cabin style or site was the site of a triple murder in 1939. Ooh. John Holder Station was located nearby. Colonel John Holder, 1753 to 1798, defender of Fort Boonesboro in 1778, founder, founder of Holder's Station, early justice and trustee of Clark County, Winchester, Kentucky. And there's his wife. So 
So I'm up above Lower Howard's Creek and um, just see that uh, pasture land. Um, I don't know all the history of this area completely. I know some of it's uh, being reclaimed uh, from, you know, recent residents. And so they're trying to uh, bring this back a bit to a, like a nature preserve and uh, a little bit of its natural beauty. But uh, the John Holder Trail that we came up, uh, this trail lies on land settled by Kentucky pioneer Colonel John Holder Holder who made his mark as one of the heroic defenders of Fort Boonesboro was a commercial industrial innovator involved in far-sighted business enterprises. Under his leadership, the settlement he established at the mouth of the creek grew to include a store, tavern, boatyard, ferry, warehouse, and mill. His landing on the Kentucky, Kentucky River became a major departure point of flatboats bound for New Orleans with Kentucky produce. Other v developers followed Holder's lead, which resulted in Lower Howard's Creek becoming one of the first industrial areas of Kentucky. Much of the area is now enclosed in the Lower Howard's Creek Nature and Heritage Preserve. Uh, the John Holder Trail follows segments of several old roads, including the Athens Boonesboro Turnpike, the Salt Springs Trace, and Holder's Road. Well, there you go, just a little history of the area. Beautiful, beautiful place. Me and Sapphire just enjoying the walk out here in April of 2016. Whew. I guess I am a history buff. <laughs> the kind of history buff I am though is one that doesn't necessarily retain all the things that I learned. I've gone all over the country and, and read historical markers and, and uh, I can do some of those same trips and um, visit some of those same places and and relearn it because I didn't remember it when I read it the first time. Um, so the kind of history buff I probably am is uh, one that likes to be at the place where history happened. Uh, I enjoyed reading history when I was a kid. I, I One of my favorite classes was social studies. I liked uh, geography and and all those kind of sciences that kind of intermingle with history. But being at a place like this, it, it, what's, what's cool about it is, to my mind, is that just right down the road, probably out that way, uh, where you hear the, maybe you can hear the road noise, is uh, Fort Boonesboro. We'll probably have to do a, a separate video for that one, but uh, Daniel Boone was involved in that, a lot of other people. It was um, uh, one of the first forts here in Kentucky, right along the Kentucky River. And uh, this place right here, uh, out at Lower Howard's Creek, uh, is connected to that because um, movement happened out of the fort and settling, and this was one of the places that was settled, uh, an area that was settled. And I read a little bit of that history a little while ago. Anyway, I like being here. I like um, the kind of history I like is is reading about it, but being at the place where it happens. It kind of get the feel of, of the place to, to see what it looks like. You read it in a book, and uh, and it's just, it's, it, I enjoy it, <laughs> that kind of history, but I'd much rather be where it happens. So, enjoying this beautiful day. Um, nice little hike. Not a real long hike. Uh, ended up here on top of the um, top of the gorge, or Howard's Creek Gorge, enjoying a little lunch, uh, hanging out with with Sapphire, which I, I just read in the pamphlet. Uh, she happens to be contraband. Uh, Sapphire, did you know that that you're contraband? Um, she's she's not allowed in the nature preserve. Don't tell anybody. Happy out.
did it. I'm impressed. <laughs> it feels so good to get some water on my belly. Beautiful part of Lower Howard's Creek. Beautiful day to be out. So many places to explore.